What's up guys? I am Sully. Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we are talking about crafting and greedfall and how important it could be. Now for the first few levels, you won't need it at all. It's not that important. You'll be able to find decent gear to get you through. But once you start leveling up, you're going to need to upgrade your gear and your teammates gear in order to get through that content. Now, if you don't have crafting, the only way you can do that is by visiting the blacksmith. And after a while, it gets pretty pricey, and gold and greedfall is not that easy to come by. But if you do have crafting, the easiest way to get mats in order to upgrade your gear is by recycling your gear. All you have to do is vi visit the workbench and recycle your gear, and in the same menu, upgrade your gear. Now, the higher quality of the gear, the more mats you get from it, and the more exotic mats you get from it. So, for me, I do about half and half. I sell some decent ones, and I sell some trashy ones, and I keep some decent ones to recycle, and I keep also keep some crappy ones to recycle as well. So, you got to find that balance. Now, along with recycling, you also have to do a bit of exploring. This game is not short of loot at all, and you'll be able to find... A lot of gear everywhere. Your chest, the lock chest, the chests that aren't locked. Um, fighting, humanoids tend to drop quite a bit of gear. And also, mining ores. Now, without intuition, they'll be a bit hard to find. But with intuition, they'll be much easier to find. And you may not sure what they look like. So stay tuned at the end of the video. I will show you guys what ores look like. And uh, where to find a lot of them very early in the game. Matter of fact, as soon as you get to New Serene. And at the end of the video, I will also show you where to find some pretty decent weapons very early on. So stay tuned, guys, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, as you can see, we are in New Serene. All right, let's have a look at the map there. There's a Desade residence. There's the governor's house. So we are in New Serene, all right? And the quarry is just outside of the city gates. Now, I'm sorry, the audio for this got corrupted. So, all you have is my voice. So, if you're not sure what ore looks like, that is what it looks like. That's how you see it in the world. Different ore, different colors, but that's how they always look. Uh, some will be black or green, etc., etc. Uh, some white. So we're going to go down now. Just jump down. And there's more down there. There we go. Now, uh, another tip. If you climb all the way up uh, in the quarry, just find the ladder and keep climbing up. There is a chest up top that has quite a bit of loot in it. And it has, um, I think, one or two blue weapons. So that's something else for you. All right, guys, all you got to do is just keep exploring and you'll find more. So this one's just, just outside of the stream. You can't miss it. Quite a bit of ore. So uh, they tend to respawn after a while. So make sure you come back and check if they do. All right. So stay tuned, guys, and I will show you where to find some pretty decent weapons. All right, guys, up uh, first is the Volcanic Saber. Great Volcanic Saber. This is a two-handed agility sword. It takes five agility to equip it. And as you can see, it looks pretty dope. So you can find it. All right, so I am in Magasfar, the Vale of the Great Battle. I am next to the Hot Springs. Actually, I am in the Hot Springs. So here are a few landmarks here to help you find it a bit easier. Nice shot of the map there. That's the quest I'm currently on. So it should help you find it pretty easily. Smoldering River Camp. All right. Now, this is what it looks like. And I just fought a pretty big pack of wolf bears. That's what I like to call them. And after you defeat them, you just go around the corner there. Keep going up top. And there's a small cave. And there you go. Up next is the Great Obsidian Double Axe. 
This one's pretty easy. This one's at King Ulan's house. There's a small altar in the back there. Just do a little bit of exploring. And you have yourself an axe. And this one takes three strength kit. 